This is the four cinder block rocket stove design. Each cinder block only cost about a dollar fifty, so it's a very inexpensive stove. Just one, two, three, four cinder blocks, and I like to use the larger size cinder blocks where each opening is kind of a square and the walls are a little thicker. The only thing we have to do is to remove this one section. And some videos show that you can just whack it with a hammer and pop it out, but often it cracks in a place you don't want it to. So what I did is I took a drill and I drilled a whole bunch of holes all down in a line here to weaken the, the concrete at these points. And then I was able to get this piece to pop off uh, just where I wanted it to with uh, no other damage to the block. And then it just comes off like that. And then you can simply just stack the one that you modified on top of the other one with a, uh, like so. And then you put the third one up on top of this. And this will produce your, uh, you have your fire chamber and a chimney that goes right up. And then in order to have a little bit longer place where to put your wood to accommodate longer sticks and get a better draft, you put the fourth cinder block right in front. So you have a, a big L-shaped fire chamber where um, sticks go on that second one up. But another benefit is you're off the ground when you're making your fire. And then to have better um, air to the fire, I take this wire sheet that I cut to size and I bend it. And the idea is the wood will go on top of the wire mesh and air can go underneath and feed the fire from the bottom. And so this will allow for a better burn. Then the last thing is if you put a pot right on top, you'll snuff out the, the fire because the exhaust won't have any place to go. So I got these little aluminum angle things cut on the size. And now the pot would go on top of that. And then there is uh, room for the exhaust to, to go out on the side. And then to start the fire, I, I pre-made this some kindling by splitting some wood, made them really small, and I might use a little bit of paper. And I have a little supply of uh, sticks that I cut up, I just found in the backyard. So that's what I do, and I, we will cook some soup. Now this is getting my fire started. You can see some paper in there, some of my small sticks and a few larger sticks. And we will get this going first and then add more sticks as uh, you see there are a little supply of extra sticks. We'll add more once the fire gets going. Okay, I just started the fire and I will let it kind of catch good and then we'll start to add more sticks. And then once the convection current is well established and the burn is kind of mature then we'll add the pot to the top and start cooking soup. Also uh, just anything in the yard will work. I have uh, some gumballs here just pick them off the ground and just kind of drop them through the top and those things will burn. So this thing will pretty much all wood stirred just burn anything you put inside. Of course if you're grilling meat you want to have good wood but just for cooking something in the pot could be any kind of wood. So here's my pot on there. You can see smoke coming out the, the chimney but not down where you put the wood in because of the draft. And this shows the wood burning on top of the metal grate and the ashes will fall below. And there's the pot again. You can see the flames um, coming up. So it's just four cinder blocks. And you can see my soup inside. I'll be stirring that ever so often so it doesn't eat too much on the bottom. And I think the soup is about done now. So you can see the inside the fire, inside the chimney. And you got to see the soot build up on those little aluminum angle pieces. Any kind of any wood fire that you're going to have soot. So you just have to prepare for that and choose your pots accordingly, ones that you don't mind getting black. 
but this is a nice emergency emergency uh, fire scope rocket scope. 